Taking a live now to Alice Springs, the Melbourne Territory opposition speaking at the moment. This is on the implementation of that youth curfew. They're actually calling for Parliament to be recalled to make sure these laws are sufficient. So let's have a listen in. This is Bill Yan talking at the moment, one of the opposition MPs. They didn't do it when they removed the pallies. They removed them without any consultation with the community or those businesses. So what are we going to see in a fortnight? Additionally, we've got those police coming. What are we going to see again in two weeks when those police leave our community? It's obviously clear that we're understaffed and under-resourced with our police here in Central Australia. And this is borne out by the fact that there's over 58 police arriving in our town as we speak. Excuse me. Uh, questions? So what are, you, uh, what, are you, what are you actually calling on the government to do uh, in terms of you know, what's happened uh, with the pallies coming back and then now they're going to go away in two weeks? What do you suggest is the solution after two weeks? I think what's really clear is that Alice Springs is currently re under-resourced. So I'll just say that again. It is very clear that Alice Springs is currently under-resourced. When we had those pallies taken away, we saw a level of lawlessness that we hadn't seen since the ending of the Stronger Futures type legislation. Those restrictions that ensured people were safe in our community, ensured a reduction in supply of alcohol to some of the most vulnerable in our community, out on remote communities and in our town camps. No, that's all right. The, the police commissioner he says that we have enough police in the Northern Territory. Um, do you agree with that? I think what we are seeing right now is that we are having to surge police into Alice Springs as a result of not being safe, of not having sufficient resources. We need to ensure that we can cover our pallies, police on bottle shops, at 100% coverage. It is an effective strategy that reduces alcohol-related harm throughout our community. We have heard this from Congress, one of the health organisations in Alice Springs. We have heard this from other NGOs, and the CLP opposition have been very clear on this for a long time. We need full coverage to ensure safety of people in our community. The Chief Minister um, earlier this morning also suggested, when asked whether the transition and the management of the transition of pallies was a failure, she denied that, stating that it's been issues with recruitment. What do you have to say in terms of rejecting this as a failure from the Chief Minister? This is a Chief Minister that backed in her failed police minister after a hell of a lot of claims that have come out. This is a novice police minister that pulled these pallies out of Alice Springs, not knowing what the consequences would be. We have seen this in the past. We've had police on bottle ships previously, and we've had Labor governments pull them out previously. We know it's an effective strategy to reduce alcohol-related harm across our community. Yet still, when we are crying out loud for people to listen, the government has chosen not to. It's taken federal members, it's taken NGO services, it's taken the opposition to voice these concerns loudly and clearly to get these things, to get these protections back in place. And now, three weeks ago, we've had them ripped out. And it's no surprise that we are now having those pallies that were taken up to Darwin for training bust, bust back to Alice Springs just so we can ensure the safety of our community.